Hey, what is going on, guys? You know what time it is? We are doing part two of our Forbidden Light Japanese release booster box. I have been waiting so long <laughs> to open up this other set. It feels like forever. Um, I opened up the other one yesterday, put it up on the channel. Um, and usually, like, sometimes when I have, like, a bunch of openings, I'll just do a bunch of openings in a row. You know, in, like, one day, I'll kind of lump record. Um... But I, I tried my hardest not to do that with this uh, set. So it is the next day. I've held off. And we are going to open up the other 15 packs of these. Um, now I did realize uh, other from my other video, we kind of went through like what the box looks like um, and all that good stuff. But we never actually took the time to look at the packs. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um Shocker, I have not actually looked up to who to see who that is, um, and I also don't read Japanese, so I assume this says something about Forbidden Light. Um, SM8, that's the set number, I know that for sure. That's how Japanese, uh, or like Japan does their set numbers for their Pokemon cards. Um, and then this must be, oh, this is actually really interesting. So we have Tommen. Oh, okay, so they have a Hyper Rare, Secret Rare, uh, Pretty Rare, <laughs> Real rare, rare, common, <laughs> uncommon, and common. But that's cool. They actually have the set. So these are their markings. So like that GX that I pulled was just our double R, which means that there are some better cards out there. Sweet. So you got barcode for sale in Japan only. Um, I'm not in Japan. Whoopsies. Um, but we're going to pop rain these and get on our way because I am super pumped about getting into these packs. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's one from the back. And let's pop into this. So we got a double energy card. A skidoo. Ooh, a hollow trainer. Nice. That's a pretty good card. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm pretty sure these are hollows. I, I, I'm i almost positive these aren't like their reverses. But again, I've not opened up a ton of Japanese cards. I've only opened up like one or two sets. I think that's what they do for their hollows. Um... I would assume that's got to be what they do for their hollows because if it wasn't, then that means we haven't pulled a hollow yet, and I can't imagine that being the case. So, pump through here. Regular rare. All right. It's not even a regular rare, actually. I say regular rare, but it's not. It's an uncommon. They don't have regular rares in this uh, set like you would get in an English set, you know, like where. You get to your rare card, and it's just the rare card. You know, in these, you either get a rare card or you get uncommon for the final one. There's no, uh, there is no regular rare. Oh, that's really cool. That's a cool artwork, actually. Stupid sword again. God dang it. And a hollow lichen rock. Nice. Got a lot of hollows in this pack. Very, I'm excited that I've actually gotten a decent amount of pulls. I don't know what the pull rates are. Um, in most Japanese sets, um, you can kind of get a rough idea with, like, English sets. Most of them, you know, you're guaranteed four to five GXs. Um, pretty much in an English set, you're guaranteed, I would say, anywhere from 12 to 15 good pulls in a booster box, so almost 50% of the time. Um, sometimes you get lucky and you get more. Um, sometimes you get less, but usually when you get less, um, it's because you pulled something, you know, a really decent card. Um... Though I did notice in the last, like, the Ultra Prism, with the Prism card being in there, and it replaces the Reverse Hollow, um, you, uh, the pull rates were a little better. I think I had 18 decent pulls, um, in the Ultra Prism booster box that I opened up on the channel. Um, and that's mostly because you would, you'd pull the Ultra Prism, but then you'd also get something behind it. Oh, another Hollow Ultra Beast. Nice. I actually, I like the Hollows, I think, more than I like the GXs in the Japanese version. Like, I mean, like, I, I guess, like, the English version, they had all these, um, the GXs for the Ultra Beast. They didn't have hollows, but I think it's nice getting a hollow sometimes. Um, because it makes it so they can use the GX spot. Because, obviously, for any set, you can only have so many GXs. Obviously, not every card can be a GX, so you have to have some to be hollows, some have to be GXs. Uh, pretty cool Marowak, the Alolan one. Um, but by making it so, like, the Ultra Beasts aren't um, GXs, they're Hollows, it allows them to actually have um, GXs of more, like, I would, not Legendary or Ultra Beasts. You know, you can have, like, your common Pokemon get a GX card, um, which is nice because in, uh, what set was it? Um, 
was an ultra prism. Was it Burning Shadows or Crimson Invasion? Maybe. I think it was Crimson Invasion. Um, all the GXs were Ultra Beasts. You know, because it was like right when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out. So it seemed like every GX card that you would get. Oh, nice. That's a really cool card, actually. Um, but it seemed like every single GX you got was um, an Ultra Beast. Which is fine. I mean, a GX is a GX. And they're great. I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, but like, especially like with Ultra Prism, obviously there weren't... Um, like the Ultra Beast didn't really get GXs. So you got like the really cool, like the Leafeon GX or the Leafeon Full Art. Um, are, it was a really cool card, you know, and obviously they had like the P or Pelkia and like the Dialga, which are also really cool. Um, oh, sweet. Another GX. This might be, is this what, what they would consider a full art? This is an SR, yeah, so this must be the, a full art, uh, Greninja. That's a really cool card. I love the blue. It's funny because like when you get a full art, um, sometimes the GXs that you get in English, they look like full arts, but they're really not. So really the only way to tell is they're, the full arts have like a texture on them, but this is completely smooth. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool card. Wow. There's some serious shine on that, isn't there? That like flared right at the camera. Sweet. All right. I think we pulled two GXs in the last set. So I have to assume that we'll probably get one more GX in this set, and I really hope I get um, a pris another Prism card would be really cool, because um, those cards are sweet. Oh, God, not this card again. It's so sad. Look at him. <laughs> Why does he have to be tearing up, staring up? Oh, I just noticed. That cloud looks like freaking Marowak. <laughs> so... If anybody, like, if you've ever played, like, the old games, like, the red-blue, like, the colored, or even, like, I guess, leaf green and fire red, because they re were really just reprints, the whole story behind Cubone is that he's in, like, the ghost tower, and he's super sad because his mother, like, his whole lore is his mother died, which is obviously Marowak, which is the evolved form of Cubone, so the, just the fact that he's crying at a cloud that looks like Marowak is absolutely one of the saddest artworks I think I've ever seen, um... And a Pokemon card. Oh my god. It's so good. Um, and then another hollow. This is pretty sweet too. <laughs> I love me a good hollow. That, yeah, I just cannot get over that Cubone crying card. It's absolutely hilarious. And it, it's sad all at the same time. It's just, it was, that's, it's just a great artwork. Like the little tear puddling up. It's, oh god, it's so sad. <laughs> this stupid sword again. Uh, Fenifox. And a. Uncommon. I gotta start saying. You gotta start saying uncommon instead of regular rare. Whole lot of nothing. That's what that one was. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, run to the back. We got a rare candy. The keychain. <laughs> and another uncommon panda. Nice. Alright, let's start really burning through these. I really gotta think about investing in a new camera, I think, because this is just, it's so up close. Like, when I open up the packs, I feel like you're just staring at the back of my hands. It's terrible. Ooh, look at Esper. Chilling out, Bunnery. Oh, nice. This was actually, this is a cool card. I, 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 yeah, this is a really cool card, actually. I like this. This is one of the, um, one of my favorite, uh, fossil Pokemon that you can get, um, in all of the, the games. Um, like, I think, like, um, oh, what's his toes? Um, Kabutops always has, you know, probably a soft spot because he was, like, from the original one. Um, but then after that, I would say it probably goes, um, probably him. And then after that, probably Crane, uh, Cranidos. Was that the lower evolution form from Diamond and Pearl? Where it was, like, another, that other dinosaur that has, uh, um, like that hard shelled top. I can't remember if that was Cranidos or if that was the uh, higher evolved form. That's a really cool card. I wish this was in a hollow form. I feel like that would look really cool. Alright, two more packs. We're coming down to the end of this. Man, it's kind of sad. I only bought one of these. Um, I don't usually buy two of the Japanese releases. I will be buying two of the English releases. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we can get something good right here towards the end. I really would like another Prism card. And if I'm lucky, hopefully it wouldn't be a repeat of the card that I already have. Ooh, what? That is a sweet card. And this is just a double R, so this is just a normal GX. Yeah, so that must be the full art. Wow. 
some of the artworks in the Japanese releases, though, are just so much better than um, the English release. Like, English sometimes has some decent cards, like, artworks. But the Japanese sets, from the ones I've opened, I've kind of realized. They just, I think they take a little bit more time into their, their artworks. And I didn't even notice this one. This one was just sitting on the top of the, my discard pile, just staring up at me. They execute. This thing's hilarious. It's like a claymation. But look at the little yoke. <laughs> that one, that one's good stuff. Um, all right, final pack right here. Dish it one to the back. And the, the back of their cards is really cool too. Completely different from the English set. But let's get into the final pack of Forbidden Light. Here we go. Kind of sad, but let's just get through it. And behind the final card is a Uncommon Trainer. Well, not too bad. This was a really good opening as well, actually. So, I mean, this is... Every single time you get this uh, booster box, this is so much fun to open just because you're guaranteed just a good chunk of stuff. And it's totally worth then going out and buying, you know, 80. Well, this was like 50, but an $80, like English is usually around 80, 85. It's so much worth just going out and buying 85 packs of cards because you'll never get the pull return. Never. It would be impossible. Um, we'll go through these hollows really quick and then we will look at. This is a really cool hollow. I, I used to, um, when I played. Um, what set is this? X and Y, I think. Maybe black and white, I can't remember. This is the Pokemon that I picked, Litlo. Um, and, uh, I didn't play a lot of it. I pretty much got him and then stopped playing the game. I should probably pick that back up. I stopped really playing my DS, actually. Sun and Moon came out, and it was just all on hands on deck for that game. And then we have these two really cool GXs, and of course the full art as well which is really cool. I like the blue. It's a good color, actually, for the uh, Greninja. Well, that's it for this one. Uh, that was this, the Forbidden Lights Japanese release, uh, full booster box part two. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm going to sleeve these guys up, put those over the collection. Um, if you did, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like it, you know, leave a dislike. It does help me out, even when people tell me that they don't like my stuff. It at least tells me that I'm doing something wrong. Um... Leave a comment. I don't have a lot of viewers, so if you comment, I will respond. Um, and other than that, guys, um, I hope you're seeing the next video. Got a lot of stuff to open up still. Um, and obviously, I have a, a bunch of recordings that are on back because when this came out, I recorded these and just put these out. So there's some that are the ones that the next like three or four coming out after this. Um, they might seem weird because I'm talking about random stuff. Like, I think I even talk about how Forbidden Light is coming out. In a couple of days or it's you know being shipped in a couple of days um that would be because i recorded it and then this came and i ended up throwing this out before because this is way more important you know um between new releases i'm gonna obviously post stuff like i've been posting like some ex boxes some tins uh but when there is a new release like forbidden lighter when the english that comes out um i will cut whatever i'm doing and i'll throw these in so you'll notice that the couple of videos after a new release comes out they might seem a little dated or uh, kind of like not in order and that's because they're not um anyway guys my name's joe this is the nerd corner thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video peace